This is Sailrite's Anchor Riding Sail Kit. It's a great and easy kit to build. Anchor riding sails help to keep sailboats from swinging from side to side at anchorage. Simply hank the sail to the boat's backstay and sheet it into one side. The sail's luff becomes the back edge of the sail as it attaches to the backstay. We'll start by removing the staples that secure the top panel to the bottom panel. Then we'll use double-sided tape to baste these panels together. Here's the double-sided tape. We're using that double-sided tape and we're putting it in the seam allowance spot. That panel should be marked seam allowance. Then tear off the paper backing and place the one panel on top, making sure that that leech edge is flush with the other panel's leech edge. Then just match up the top part of the uh, fabric to that uh, uh, seam line and you've got a beautiful panel. Do that all along the length. Once the panels are basted, move it to your sewing machine and prepare to do your stitch down that seam. You'll notice here we've removed the patch material that had been stapled by Sailrite onto this assembly to make it easier for you. I have not removed the patches on the other corners. I've left the staple in place. Place that stitch right along that edge using a zigzag if you have it. This is the Ultra Feed zigzag machine. Here we're showing it with the fabric folded up so it fits in the throat of that machine. It fits nicely. Once that uh, seam has been stitched all along its length, rotate the fabric over so you can see the other edge quite easily and use that as a reference as you're uh, feeding it through your machine to guide that stitch nice and straight. If you had a straight stitch machine, you may want to put four stitches in it. In this uh, seam allowance, we're going to be putting uh, three zigzag stitches in. So two on the side and then one in the center as seen here. Now this is the second stitch. And we just want to sew all along that length. So here's a close-up of it. When that's done, put a third stitch in the center of those two. Quite easy. Just run it down the entire length again. You'll see here, this is the uh, tack edge where I had to remove that patch that had been stapled onto the sail. We're going to uh, assemble this patch so that it fits nicely in that corner and then baste it. So you'll be able to easily see where that staple was just by looking at the material. That way you don't get confused. And then you'll, you should see the T3, T2, T1. We're seeing a T3 here. Turn it over. Apply basting tape. Now I'm only going to apply basting tape to the one edge of this patch. And I'm doing it only because I feel confident that I'm going to get that patch down flat. You really should apply basting tape to all three edges of the patch. You'll see here that I'm putting it on the inside of those hem lines that have been plotted onto the fabric and it fits nicely in there, all pre-cut for you. Now we're going to apply tack patch number two, that's how it's labeled. We'll apply basting tape again. We should be doing it around the entire perimeter of the patch so that it sews on nice and flat. Remove the, the uh, paper on the back side of the tape and then baste it in place. Do that with the third patch as well and you're ready to move on to the next step. There's tack patch number one. So obviously as you can see in this video you want to put the smaller patch on the bottom, medium size on top of that, and then the largest size is the last patch. Just like a sail would be constructed. Now as you can see here the last two patches on this sail I've left stapled onto the material. We're going to apply double-sided tape. Again, I should apply it all the way to the three sides just to make sure that those panels are going to be sewn on nice and flat. I'm not doing it here. I recommend you do that for your sale. Don't have to worry about where that staple is. That'll be fine. And then baste it down to the sail as you did normally the other way. But leaving that staple in place makes it quite easy to make sure that you don't mix anything up. Watch here. All we have to do is remove the backing. and baste it in place. Jeff, our sail designer, does a pretty good job of stapling these patches in the appropriate position. If he's not done a good job, remove the staple and apply them in the right position so they match up with those uh, uh, hem lines on the uh, edges of your sail. If you find that a patch hasn't gone down correctly, you can easily remove it and reposition it before sewing. Once all three of the patches, or should I say uh, nine of the patches have been basted in place, I'll take it over to the sewing machine. And I actually like to mark 
where those uh, little, smaller patches are with a pencil and then take a ruler and just draw a, a guideline down that patch so that I know exactly where that stitch is going to lay because I can't really see through this uh, material well enough to see where those smaller patches are. So I do that just as a sewing guide. And I do it lightly so that I don't, uh, that uh, pencil line eventually comes off in time. Then we're just going to sew a zigzag stitch, making sure that we are on top, right up to the edge of that smaller panel on the uh, bottom side, all the way down its length. Now I'm not reversing here in this video. I probably should have done that as well. I expected the hem lines to uh, actually cover uh, the stitch, but uh, I notice on one side that technically those stitches aren't really being protected by anything. So you really should reverse it both the beginning and the end to lock that stitch in place. Here we are sewing the final uh, the third stitch onto this patch assembly and do that to all three patches and you're done. Now in the written instructions it just says to apply double-sided tape along the leech and the foot along the inner uh, hem line and then fold that uh, hem in once and then fold it over again. I like to apply double-sided tape along that uh, uh, the cut edge of both the leech and the foot as well and then I fold it into that hem line uh, using the double-sided tape to hold it in place and then I pull off the backing of the second double-sided tape as I'm going to do a little bit later and then baste it over to that one as, as well. So here we are with the double-sided tape along the edge and then all I do is just uh, line up that ed cut edge along that, uh, that hem line that Jeff has plotted onto this sail. We do this on both the leech and the foot. Now for the luff we're going to do something a little bit different. So do that as we're showing here. We've done, done it all along the length. Now we're going to uh, take off the backing on that uh, seam stick along the inner edge of that uh, hem line and we're going to fold it over that creating basically a double hem along the leech and the foot. Do that along all the length. Now I'm not going to show doing it on the foot side. Yeah. 